All right, guys. I know you guys are used to videos for my G35, but I have I have sold my G35 and uh, I got a new car. And this is my first uh, car part for it. I got an I got an intake. These look like good flanges. Not flanges. Um, what are they called? from big to small. <clears throat> Here's the intake itself. The smell of new car parts. <laughs> That's my new car. Yep. Yep, 2.0 Turbo Key Optima 2014. 274 horsepower stock. I compare it to my G35 I had, power wise, and I feel like it pulls just as hard. All right. Seems like we just gotta remove the snorkel intake. And then just a couple clamps and more, maybe 10 millimeters. So I was right, it is 10 millimeter for these boards, or for these. Put this shit on tight. Off just like it. Take the clips off. This should be the pop up. Oh, there's two bolts. Oh, it looks like there's two more bolts down here. Right there, and there's one over here. down over here. These are 10 also. Let's see if we can get to this one. Oh man, I think we have to move the battery. Yeah. I think we have to remove the battery to get to that bolt. Oh. 
All you gotta do is take off this bolt and there's like a clamp on the battery. You take the clamp off and you're able to move the battery back a little and all you have room to take off that bolt now. Looks like most of these bolts on the intake are 10 millimeters, so as long as you have a 10 millimeter, you're fine. <laughs> and my washer just fell. <laughs> you just gotta unclip this metal clamp thing. This should come right out. There you go. It looks like we just need pliers to take all these clamps off. Like these are on pretty tight. Okay, these are gonna be hard. Is there anyone on the bottom? So this one, the trick was kind of putting your nails behind the, the tube and just pushing that way. This one we just got twisting till it broke loose. <laughs> that one's off. This is the same thing, we just got twisting. And now it just looks like there's a a clamp all the way at the bottom of this intake tube, like the one that was right here. Alright, so we found it better to take off the bolt from the bottom of the intake with the, a ratchet wrench like this and stick it on through this part and just ratchet it out because it's with a socket and like a, an extension and it's like no room to work on and it's like the same type of clamp that the top of the intake has let me see if i can find it oh here it's like this i'm gonna get better lighting like this so you gotta take the bolts off and take this clamp off now we're just working on taking the intake off because we just have the clamp there now there we go got this son of a bitch off see same type of car. It's annoying. Out with the old, ain't the new. Now you're exposed to the turbo. You can see the downpipe, like the test pipe right there. My fucking sand up though. Okay, it's been a long time since last time we recorded, but there was a lot of little things we had to adjust, like, uh, this hose right here, we had to buy a replacement for it because the OEM one didn't fit. So I can find my OEM one. This is the OEM one. This does this OEM one does not fit onto the intake tube right here. So we had to buy one from Advanced well, AutoZone. This could fit on this side, the clamp, but this side it wouldn't go over since the tube was too uh, thick. So we zip tied it for now. Later I will go on and buy a clamp for it. This one fit fine, no problem. This one was the same thing. The, the bung or whatever they welded on was too thick compared to the OEM one. So we zip tied it. As you can see the OEM one right there. It doesn't fit over. And for the, for back there for the couplers, we struggled a lot, but it finally went in. And once it's in, it's tight. All we need now is the, the filter and we'll be done and we'll show you some uh, intake noises okay we put everything back together here's the intake only thing we do need is to hold down the battery don't forget the clamp that goes there 
the two bolts to go back there. Well, you don't really need those bolts, those are from the last intake. But if you want to keep those bolts there so you don't lose them, that, that should be it. We'll be back to right set up. See the, the battery clamp, we'll put it back, put the battery nice and safe. You put those back just so we won't have the bolts laying around. And, yep, yeah, let's go start it up. Hopefully there's no check engine lights or anything like that. Hopefully it starts right up with no problem. So far, so good. Get the car warm up, get it to good temperature, and then I'll give it some revs. I'll be back. Alright, so I'm uh, I'm gonna give it some exhaust revs and everything. I don't think it matters what I'm gonna spark. Like here. I'm gonna rest the 4K, but just give it like some memory. Yeah, it sounds nice. It sounds like everything's okay, so that should be it for the install. It did take some time to due to the the couplers not being the right size or hours having to go get new hoses, but that should be it. Alright, it's gonna be our first uh, little ride along. I'm putting it in paddle shifter mode. This thing's fine. Pedal feels the same. Oh, that sounds dope. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking dope as fuck. You can hear that, you can hear it spool off. I can think, imagine when you get like a blow up off for this car, it's loud. The one little pull right here. That was just first to second. See this traffic going through. Alright, we're gonna do this pull right here. Trash control off. It a lot of noise. One thing I do hate about these cars is that when you're in sport mode and you don't shift exactly on time, it shifts for you. So, technically, might as well just leave it in automatic. 